Hey everyone, it's Luke. Today I want to share with you this box of coins that I recently picked up from eBay. I haven't looked through it all yet, but I can already tell that I got an amazing deal. There are over 400 coins in this box, and I only paid about $60. The interesting thing though is that the seller knew what they had. They estimate that this is over $700 retail. It was kind of a poorly described listing though. This is basically all that it showed. All I could see was this one page of cardboard flips, but I knew it would be worth taking a risk. I'm honestly blown away by what's in here. Every single coin is properly identified and placed into a cardboard flip. And I can tell that these aren't just filler coins. I know that there are dozens of Chinese cash coins in here, as well as a lot of silver coins too. I've also spotted a few interesting tokens as well. This is definitely a collection that someone put a lot of work into. It's going to take some time to look through all of these, but I'll show you anything interesting that I find. Okay, so just looking at these pages of cardboard flips, I mean, even these are pretty decent coins. Uh, most of them are, you know, at least a, a few decades old, and I'll definitely be adding most of these to my collection. Um, there's you know, there's a lot of different countries represented here. We've got India, Spain, Germany, Denmark, uh, Jamaica, Yugoslavia, Italy, Hungary, and there's really a pretty wide variety here. And there's a bunch of pages, you know, just like that one. You know, most of these coins are worth maybe like a dollar to a piece, but you know, it really adds up. I mean, there's 400 coins in this box and um, there's a lot that are uncirculated too. So we might have some that are worth like, you know, maybe like $5 a piece. So I definitely did pretty well with this buy. I mean, here's even an Egyptian coin from 1901, just uh, like thrown into this bunch. So yeah, these are all these are all quality coins. These. Let's see how many we have here. So that's 12 pages of 20 coins each, even a dollar a piece, that's 240 coins right there. I'm basically quadrupling what I paid for it. So now I'm going to look through all of those bulk coins that were just thrown loosely in the box and I'll let you know what I find there. So this is pretty incredible right here, but there are at least 57 Chinese cash coins in this box. And again, these are not throwaway coins. These all have, you know, a pretty substantial amount of value to them. Um, and I'm definitely going to have to do a, a more detailed search through these. Um, I know there are definitely some intricacies with a lot of these that, uh, you know, it's going to take a while to look these up and find out if there are any rarities mixed in. Um, I did see one Japanese one in here, actually. Um, let me see if I could find it. Uh, I can't seem to find it. Actually, here it is. Yeah. 1668 to 1700. I don't know how rare this is, but like I said, I'm definitely going to have to do some more research. And it looks like a lot of these Chinese cash coins are, are all the same. 1736 to 1795. Um, but there definitely are some others thrown in here. And I know that the mint location makes a difference on these too. So here's a 1796 to 1870. And I'll, I'll let you know at the end of the video if there are any rarities scattered in here. Um, but for now, let's see what else I can find. So these are a few interesting tokens that I managed to find scattered in here. Um, here's a, uh, it looks like a Quad Cities, Iowa Lady Luck Casino $1 token.
and I really don't know too much about this. Um, I think it's somewhat old, but I don't think it has a ton of value. Here's another um, Atlantic City Tropicana a $1 token. And this was kind of random here. It's a 1961 uh, New Orleans Mardi Gras token. Looks like it's in like, you know, I guess the equivalent of uncirculated condition. It's kind of nice. It's got to be worth something. And I'm not sure what this is. This is like a, it says it's a German shooting token. 1939. Couldn't really find too much about this. Um, so if any of you guys want to let me know what this might be, uh, if you've seen these before. Because I really have no clue what this is. Then here's a Chicago Airliner Show Lounge token. It's kind of cool looking. And, you know, it's got a value of $12 on here. Um, so, I mean, you know, these individual coins, they, they really do add up. And then this is really cool. It's a Paramount Kings Island token. And I think this is somewhat old, and I, I did look it up quickly. And it, it looks like it, it has a little bit of value. Maybe around like $10. It's in pretty nice condition too, so it's, it's kind of cool. Just seeing like the, the Paramount logo on a token. It's definitely worth more than that. Dollar twenty five cents. So, like I said, there really is like a little bit of everything in this box, um, and that includes a lot of old British coins, like these I I just found. Um, so, like for example, here's an eighteen ninety eight penny, um, and you know you don't really see uh, this design too often. It's really a, a pretty nice coin. And you know, there's some slightly newer stuff like 1960s. Um, but you know, you, even these in like uncirculated condition, I didn't expect to find this type of stuff in here. Here's a, another British coin. It's labeled as a love token. I don't really know anything about these. Um, so, you know, if, if someone wouldn't mind commenting below what exactly this is, um, I'd, I'd really be interested to find out. Looks like it's, you know, pretty worn out. Here's a, a 1936 half penny. It's another quality coin. And you know, here's a, a 1943 uh, two shillings. It's another nice coin. Uh, another 1861 penny. Uh, 1917 penny. You know, there really are a bunch more just like that one, but you know, I don't have time to show you every single coin that's in here. I'm kind of just trying to pick out the best of what I find. And here's a nice 1906 half penny. 
it's in pretty nice shape. And you know, it's crazy, there's even silver in here. Here's a 1938 Scottish shilling. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice shape. So I'm also finding a lot of German Fennig coins that are well over 100 years old. Um, 1912A5 Fennig, a 1912A1 Fennig, Uh, 1875 2 Fennig, uh, another 2 Fennig, 1874C, 1875A10 Fennig, 1913A10 Fennig, 1911A1 Fennig, and you know, there's a few uh, Nazi Germany coins like this one as well. And, you know, in addition to that, there are a lot of just random coins from the 1800s scattered in here, too. Like, here's in Argentina, 1891, $0.02. Cent. Uh, Colombia, $0.1886, $0.05. Cent. Uh, Italian 1866, 10 cent. Uh, Belgian 1862, 5 cent. Here's a very tiny Columbia 1881, two and a half cent. Super tiny coin. Here's a New Brunswick, 1861, one cent. This is in pretty nice condition. And then, you know, in addition to that, there are just a lot of scattered silver coins in here as well. Like, here's a 1952 Lebanon, uh, I guess that's a you know a fifty cent equivalent. It says you know point six uh, silver, so I'm assuming that's true. You know another silver coin, a 1910 Belgium fifty cent coin. You know, most of these coins are going to go straight into my collection. Here's in 1888 Russia 5 Kopex. It's a cool coin. And then this here is really nice. Let's see, it's a it's a Netherlands uh, 1944 one golden coin, and this thing looks to be like, you know, brilliant uncirculated. This here is a pretty valuable coin. You know, and I definitely didn't expect to find something like that just scattered in here. Really nice coin. And here's an El Salvador, 1953, 50 cent coin. Silver as well. And, you know, this one's not silver here, but it's a pretty old, you know, it's an 1859. Canadian cent. You don't see these too often. 
And I keep forgetting, you know, the reverse is not flipped on these non-US coins. And I'm not sure how this found its way into here, but it's a Roman bronze coin from 300 AD, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't have too many ancient coins in my collection. Um, you know, it's kind of beaten up, but it'll be a, a cool addition to the coins that I have. And I just thought these were kind of cool. They're uh, World War II ration tokens, which, again, I don't know anything about these, so if someone could fill me in on what exactly the, these were used for, um, I'd really appreciate that. Um, so it looks like that's the majority of what's in here. Uh, obviously, I couldn't go through all 400 plus coins, um, but you'll have to take my word for it that all of the coins in here are pretty much of equal quality to what I just showed. Um, so again, I'm, I'm shocked that I was able to get all of this for only like $60. Uh, um, and I, I definitely think I... I lucked out on this purchase. If there's anything else in here that I failed to show you, I'll make sure that I add it on to the end of the video. But I, I think I covered everything interesting in here. Um, so definitely let me know what you think about this purchase. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.